Okay, welcome back to the Freddy Farkas Let's Play. So Helen Back has just given us uh, her prescription, so let's take a look at it. Helen Back's prescription is barely legible due to all the whiskey spots, but you eventually decipher it. Helen Back, Quino Trizate tabs three times for seven days. Okay, so we need to make Quino Trizate tabs. So if we look up in our manual, it tells us how to make Quino or quino tra trazate, or however you say that. What we need is bismuth, enterosalicylene, bismuth something, it's not that one. Okay, we need this, and we need 15 mils of it. One, two, three. And then we need to put that into the beaker, just like that. And now we need this phenidol thing, and we need 30 grams of it. And you measure the grams out in this on this little balance, which is what I just did. So I put 30 grams on this balance, and I mix that in with the beaker as well. And now I need to stir those two up with a stirring rod. Okay, and then we throw the stirring rod away in the, in the waste receptacle. You toss it into the waste receptacle. Now we have to make um, pills out of this because it calls for tabs. So what we do is get ourselves a medicine bottle and then we take this and put it into the pill machine which is over here. Now we can put this away. And every time we click on one it's going to make three, three pills which then we can take and put in our medicine bottle. So I'm going to end up doing this seven times. Um, I could skip through this and pause the video and not make you watch it, but for the first time, since it is part of the game, we'll, we'll go ahead and click it. In the meantime, I'll tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was this old man who lived in a deep, dark cave. The old man talked to this little boy who came into the cave. Yeah, forget it. I was going to tell you a story, but... Not that funny anyway. Okay, so we have all... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we have all 21 pills. And they're in our medicine bottle. So we just cork it. Like that. You carefully label the container Mrs. Helen back. Take three times daily, just before meals. And we're ready to go. And click on the pills in the inventory. I just got a text message on my phone. Okay, so we give her. That's better, Freddy Farkas. That'll be 22 cents, Miss Back. Put it on my tab. I don't have with I don't have it with me right now. Fine, slacker. Don't even have a quarter. Never talking to you again. Ooh, who's this lady coming in? Freddy, honey, just slide that handsome pharmacist butt on over here. I got something I need from you. Morning, Sadie. What have you got? I got a prescription here I need filled. Something that'll increase my womanly powers, if you, you know what I mean. Be a dear and fill it for me right away, won't you? I simply can't wait to try it out. Your wish is my command, madam, madame. You take the prescription from the madame. What a busy morning. You haven't had to fill this many prescriptions since Custer's trip stayed at the Dirty Sheets Hotel. All right, so let's take a look at hers. Actually, I'm going to save it real quickly. Save, save, save. Come on. Yeah, I saved second RX without you guys looking. Haha, <laughs> I tricked you. So this will be third RX. And because I slowed down my DOS box, it, it takes forever to do anything. La 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 la. Okay, so let's take a look at her prescription. This prescription is impossible to read. That's what happens when Doc writes a prescription through his bleary, whiskey-soaked eyeballs. Hmm. 
So if I can't read it, I certainly can't fill it. So let's see if she can help us. Why don't you keep it till you're finished with it? Hmm. Okay. Um. I need I need the doc's help here. So where would the doc be? He's a whiskey soaked drunken doc, so he's probably gonna be in the bar. So let's go see if we can help. Get him to help us. Excuse me, Sadie. I've got to run out for a bit. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, Freddy, but hurry back. So, most likely Doc's going to be at the bar. So let's go see if we can get him to, to tell us what the prescription is. La 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 la. Passing by. All the buildings that are closed down. Come on. Go. There you go. He didn't want to go for some reason. <clears throat> so here's the saloon. Hey, little boy. No, not you. This. I ain't got time. I got peanut butter in the offering plate, and now, it, now my paw's after me. He said I was wasting good peanut butter. That was the preacher's kid. Okay, got it. All right, let's go in here. No, really. Come on, Freddy. Freddy? There you go. He was stuck. This is the first time we've been in the saloon, so this is good. Do, 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 do. Music got louder. Okay, so we have the saloon here. We have a guy playing the piano, the bartender, some, some weird guys over there. And then, aha! Who's this guy? He looks like he might be of use. Why, it's old Doc Dizzy Gillespie. He's been drinking again. Must be office hours. Okay. Let me talk to him real quick because he's what we really came in here for. Doc! Hey, Doc! Huh? <gasps> What's that? Are you drinking again? Me? Drunk? Oh, never. I'm sober as the day I was out off my ass. <gasps> I mean, the day I was born. Doc, you're not writing prescriptions while you're drunk, are you? No, 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 never. <gasps> I'm a responsible individual with impeccable, <gasps> impecker, <gasps> imperfect reputation. <gasps> Doc? What? What's that? I swear, it's an established medical procedure. I was not negligent. No, Doc, I just wanted to tell you that I'm worried about you. Your prescriptions have been getting sloppier and sloppier. Let's work together on this. You have my complete cooperation. Let's drink to it. Barky, enough around for my prescription phone friend here. Just simmer in your own juices for a while. Okay, let's show him the prescription because maybe he can help us with it. I can't read this so good. Must be something wrong with my eyes. <sighs> okay, so we can't read it, so... Hmm. He can't read it. It's Doc's whiskey glass, mostly empty right now. What if we took his empty gl his glass? Don't you touch me, Freddy Farkas. I'm sterile, and I don't need your help. Okay, Doc, just take it easy. And Happy New Year to you, George Bailey. In jail. <laughs> Oh no, he thinks he's Lionel Barrymore. It happens once in a while. Okay, I'm gonna take in this wine glass. You pick up the whiskey glass. Hmm. Doc's whiskey glass. Poor Doc. What's he gonna do without a thinking man's beverage? What if we did this? Aha. So we can use this as sort of a magnifying glass. Testosterate. 25 milligrams a day. So it looks like we can read it better now. Aha! Now you can see this prescription the way Doc wrote it. Wait, testosterate? Testosterate's for guys, right? And that was a woman saying she wanted to increase her womanly powers. I'm just going to show this to the Doc just to make sure. 
You thrust the prescription in the whiskey glass under Doc's nose. Hey, Doc, this says testosterate. You really want to prescribe this to a woman? Testosterate? Hmm. No, I suppose that would be an if. <laughs> an if. <laughs> a poor choice. Let's see. This was for Sadie Overy, right? I must have meant something else. Score! Doc scribbles a correction on the prescription and hands it back to you. There you go. Take this back to your pharmacy and have fun. Thanks, Doc. And he said something which I didn't get. But I'm out of time on this video. So join me in the next video, guys, and we'll fill that corrected prescription. See you then.